This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehraj. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDROX. Today we will going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, uh, this is isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, in our, I will start drawing from the front plane. In the front plane, I will draw this circle. And this circle has a dimension of 60 diameter. And here we can see it has a distance to the of 38 unit. But we, if we look at here, this distance is 33 units. So we can say that uh, from here to here, the distance is 33 unit, and this extra portion has a distance of 38 minus 33 unit. Okay. So I will in the direction I will extrude post this portion, and in the direction two I will extrude post this other portion. Okay. So let me draw that first. So I am selecting the front plane here. Now sketch now select the circle and place the circle here and draw a circle of 60 diameter after that isometric it for a better view now go to features and now extrude boss <coughs> now in the direction one extrude boss it to 38 minus 33 unit okay and now in the direction two extrude boss it to 33 unit now press ok so after that if we go back to our drawing we can see that uh, we have a circular profile here and this circular profile has a dimension of 10 radius and from that we can see we have a line here and this line has a distance of 9 unit then we have a tangent line here and this and for drawing this circular profile here we can see it has a dimension of uh, 58 unit from this center point okay and it has a distance of 36 unit you can see 36 unit from here and then we'll draw a line here and then close the shape then I will convert this line okay after that I will extrude it to 10 unit a uh, 14 unit I will extrude it to 14 unit then from this upper face I will draw this rectangular shape and then I will extrude it to from here to here okay so let's do that uh, now first of all i'm selecting the front plane again now sketch now normal to it now zoom out select a circle here place a circle here and dimension it to 10 radius so it will be 10 radius multiplied by 2 20 diameter now select this my dimension option now this circle has a distance from here to here you can see that it has a distance of 58 unit okay then we have another distance from here to here this upper portion in the here uh, this distance is 36 unit okay after done that now press ok now select the sorry now select the center line and place this line here and draw a horizontal center line, center line here after drawing the center line Select a line tool here and place a line uh, in in this circular profile and draw a uh, line tool here and place a line here and draw a we don't and draw a vertical line okay and after drawing this vertical line go to span dimension and now dimension this line to nine unit okay I am dimensioning this line to nine unit now select this upper point of the line and this line and dimension this the distance is zero unit okay now dimension it to and let me first fix this line okay fine first of all i am selecting the center line and now fixing this line because i don't want to move this line okay after fixing this line and redimension the distance to zero unit okay so i have dimensioned this distance to zero unit so it has come to here now select a line tool here and place the line tool here and draw a tangent line okay i am drawing a tangent line okay the tangent line has been drawn after that select the line tool and place the line select the line tool and place the line tool here and draw a horizontal line of 36 unit then go to here and join this line 
okay this line has been joined now select this tangent uh, this circular profile after that select the convert entities now select the trim option and trim this unnecessary part now trim also this portion now press ok so we have gotten our shape almost there now we have a inner cut cycle if we see here we have an inner cut cycle and this inner cut cycle has a dimension of 10 diameter okay so i am selecting a circle placing the circle here and now dimension it to 10 unit now isometric it for a better view now go to features now extrude boss now extrude boss it to 14 unit now reverse the direction now press ok ok now select this upper face now sketch now normal to it now select a line tool here and place a line tool here and and draw a line like this <coughs> and now the now draw a horizontal line of 10 unit now draw a vertical line of 33 unit now close the shape okay now i submit it for a better view now press ok now go to features and now is to boss now is to boss select the up to surface and select this surface now press ok so this portion has been done now in our case we can see uh, we have this horizontal line and this horizontal line has a distance of 18 unit plus 2 unit okay then we we can see that this upper uh, we have a vertical line of 2 unit okay after that we can see we have another line another line and this horizontal line has a distance of 50 minus 28 unit and then we will go uh, draw a vertical line like here then i will uh, take the convert entity tool and draw this curve and now then i will join this line then i will boss it to 14 unit okay so those of you are thinking uh, this part is flattening and this part is joined to this circular surface uh, if we see in this this portion uh, this portion is joined to this circular surface so this portion like this to this this one also joined to this circular portion and only this portion is flattening okay so i am selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select a line and place a line here and draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 5 unit after that select this my dimension and from this circle to this line the distance is 18 unit plus 2 unit so it will be 20 unit now select the line tool here and draw a vertical line and this vertical line has a distance of 2 unit now draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 50 minus 28 unit then draw another horizontal uh, another vertical line and again select the line tool and place the line tool here and draw another vertical line okay after drawing that line select this circular profile now convert entities now select the trim option and trim the unnecessary part that we don't need now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now stood boss now stood boss it to 14 unit okay now reverse the direction now press ok now this time we will draw this rectangular shape and for this rectangular shape we can see that it has a dimension of 28 unit by 35 unit okay then i will draw a center line here and this center line has a dimension of 15 unit then I will use the offset entities and draw a offset of this two line and each, each side each side has a dimension of 4 unit in the offset and I will close the shape with a circular uh, cap end 
okay after that we can see we have a fillet here here and here and here and all the fillet has a dimension of radius 6 unit okay so i am selecting this upper face now sketch now normal to it now select the corner rectangle corner rectangle now rotate here and place the corner rectangle here now dimension it to 35 by 28 unit okay now select the center line here and place the center line here and now dimension it to 15 unit okay after that uh, select the offset entities and uh, select this center line as the radius is 4 unit, 4 unit so each side has a dimension of 4 unit make sure to select the cap int and arc now press ok now select the trim option and trim all the necessary part that we don't need okay now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now extrude boss here we can see it has a extrude boss of 10 unit okay so i am extrude bossing it to 10 unit so extrude bossing it to 10 unit uh, reverse the direction now press ok after that select the fillet option from here and fillet it to 6 radius and you can rotate here select this inner line this line this line and also rotate and select this line now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now in our case we can see we have a circular cut in here and this circular cut has a dimension of 35 unit and it is through all okay so i am selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select a circle place the circle here and dimension it to 35 unit now i submit it for a better view now go to features and now it should cut now it should cut it to through all now press ok so in here as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end Thanks for watching, and keep learning. Be different.